Hi there, Henry Smith here from ironworldandrich.com. We talk about how to understand the game of money and play it well. Welcome to today's video update. So what I'm doing is updating the cryptocurrency portfolio, something I've been doing since 2020, uh, 2021, February 2021. The portfolio was actually started before uh, 2021. It was started last summer in 2020, but I uh, decided to start documenting it and updating it and docu video on the documentation this year. Make sure you stay to the end of this video because I always talk about something after the update. Before I start, some photos to let you know that this is not a financial advice video. So, uh, I'll disclaim, I'm not a financial advisor, financial planner. So, do not um, do your own due diligence, your own research. Always uh, understand as well that um, I think in this video is financial advice, but also that, um, most importantly, all investments do carry risks or some degree of risk. So, do not invest more money than you can afford to lose. With that, I'm going to share my screen and um, do the update. This is what I've been using for the last several months and um, got three main columns, the altcoin column, the Bitcoin column, and the totals column. And um, the green and right, green is when, it's when, the, when the portfolio has moved forward on the previous day. Red is when it's moved backwards on the previous day. So got lots of forwards and backwards here, as you can see. So yesterday was a bit weird. We had forward, forward in the altcoin, but not in the Bitcoin. So the overall portfolio was a little bit down, just by $61. Anyway, let's uh, see where we are today. Today is the 27th of September. And I get the figures from this page here. And this portfolio consists of one whole Bitcoin and um, an assortment of special selected, specially researched alternative coins. And also, um, and that's the total here. Left hand side, we've got US dollars. Right hand side, we've got the same portfolio just in British pounds or pounds sterling. This is the portfolio uh, split 75 25. So, and this updates every, uh, every 10 minutes. So it comes in from a live feed into a NASA group and then we get the final figures here. So anyway, the figure I want here is this one, 132,593. 32, 5, 9, 3. 32, 5, 9, 3. 39. I think that's correct. Yep. That is minus from yesterday, so that is that stays red minus five hundred forty one dollars. And the top figure here, hundred seventy five thousand seven hundred forty eight seventy six seven hundred forty eight. Ah, yeah, absolutely correct. So let's see what this is. This is minus 174 as well. Um, so that stays red. And that brings Bitcoins up a little bit, uh, $366. So that's, um, that's the update of today. Stay tuned for tomorrow. What I wanted to talk about really in this area was the we we're closely watching Bitcoin and Ethereum, but you know, all they all follow the Bitcoin trend as we watch whether Bitcoin will move downwards. Um, you know, there are quite a lot of very powerful trends that are moving against Bitcoin, making it more likely that it will move towards the downside. And one is this Gaussian channel, as, as I've talked about many times, and I'll keep talking about it. Uh, you know, it entered this tunnel the 16th of May and uh, went down underneath the medium line and then came up, trying to escape the tunnel, but then dragged down, got dragged down. And it will go below, below the heading towards the medium line and then eventually even underneath uh, somewhere underneath the tunnel somewhere maybe hidden this orange line if, and if things got really bad probably this 
this uh, support level of um, this red line. So that can happen. Usually it stays within the channel for about a year, as I've mentioned. That hasn't changed, it's still deep within. Uh, observing it, and we're also coming up, we've just finished coming out of a, of a golden cross, but it looks like this is going to arch and re arch and then meet again, the two lines meet again in a death cross, which is going to be very interesting which is these two lines represent the 200 day moving average in red and the, the 50 day moving average in, in green. So it goes up a little bit today, but so far, this is just like a simulation. Uh, it could go to, you know, where these lines could meet if it wants to pay, once the, if the price starts to go lower, uh, it will go start to go lower than before there's an actual death cross. These would definitely, this one would actually trend downwards and start meeting with the red line somewhere around in this area. And we should see that we also mean a major move to the downside. Um, so I'm also watching this uh, indicator as well, special indicator that when, when we get a white spell, a white line here, we know that we're, we're moving to the downside. Major, when we get a red, we're moving to the upside. So there's a number of things. There's also uh, this one. This is a very interesting uh, indication, observation. I have noticed um, when when there's like a, what we call a hammer, like here. This was a hammer candle. So these are candles, these are six month candles. So I've got it on the six month time frame, looking at Bitcoin. And in this kind of, when there's a hammer, what we call a hammer, this was kind of like a hammer down here. And after that hammer, we get that uptrend. When, during this summer here, well, after the hammer, we got an uptrend. And that seems to, is a very, very powerful um, indication of a trend reversal. But one of the important, interesting things is we, what we have here is something known as a reverse hammer. Okay, and that is a very strong indication that this candle here, which is not finished printing yet, can be involved in a very powerful downtrend when the um, hammer like this is inverted. Now this come. Uh, um, this candle here, this is a Ju July, since started in July, has got um, three months and five days before it's completed, as you can see on the left hand side. But so be be within that time, we should know whether it's going to respond to the downtrend pulling power of this candle here. So, like I said, the a lot of interesting things pointing towards a, a, an initial downtrend of Bitcoin. And then after that, looks like there could be an uptrend, but we'll keep you posted. We'll keep observing it on a daily basis. Because watch out the next, you know, week, week, two and a half weeks. Within the next two and a half weeks, you want to see quite an interesting move from Bitcoin. And those who position themselves in the right way will be able to take advantage of it. Anyway, if you're, um, if you find this content interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the um, notification button. Just before I go, don't forget to check us out on this website here, download the free course. I, I'm workingrich.com. The link is underneath the video, but also at the end. Uh, don't go to this form here, get your millionaire mindset and investment strategy free now and um, start preparing yourself, discipline yourself financially, get yourself financially prepared, mentally prepared as well for what's about to happen over the next uh, year or so. Okay, so with that, I want to thank you very much for listening and I uh, hope you found it useful. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and so that YouTube can do their thing and put it out. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a wonderful and fantastic day.